So for today, we're going to be looking at Stompies. This is going to be an introduction of a new series that I'm going to make where we essentially look at an exotic, uh, the ornaments that it may or may not have, and we basically weigh the pros and cons of the looks of each. So for example, again, we're going to be looking at the Stompy for this one, which means we're also going to be looking at the three ornaments that it has. Uh, we're going to be weighing the, the good and the bad. We're going to see if there's unshaderable parts and we're going to see if this ornament is actually viable as in can you use it in multiple pieces or is this just too thematic and it's just going to stick to this one set so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really like this idea we're going to start off with stompies for the hunter uh doom doom marchers for the titans and then transverse step for the warlocks i decided to do the speed ones just because those are the most popular ones for each class and then after that we'll get to the other popular exotics and then from there we go down the totem pole essentially we're going to be doing all the exotics and the new ones as well so again let me know what you guys think and let's just get right into it so the first thing we're going to be looking at for the stompies is just how clean it looks personally i'm i've been one of the biggest fans of the stompies looks since vanilla destiny 2 i think it just looks beautiful uh the thing you have to note though is the stompies is very skinny so you're gonna want to stay away from bulky armor sets uh big plates may or may not go, go well with it uh so for me personally stick with slim looking armor pieces uh before we start really getting into, into that though let's look at some unshaderable parts because there are pieces that just don't change color first and foremost the calves and the white piece on above the ankle do not change color unfortunately so you are stuck with white on that the circles around the knees and the hips also do not change color unfortunately everything else though is fair game the pants is going to change color the armor pieces are going to change color even the wiring on the hips are going to change color but again the white on the calves and above the ankles do not change color and the turquoise around the knees and the hips do not change color so just be aware of that uh as for the example set that i made this is my generic hunter this is something you will see a hunter wear once in their lifetime or all of it in their lifetime either way you're going to be looking at the masquerader's cowl a lot maybe the, actually the masquerader's cowl might be the only one that's like not a lot of people are going to be using other than that, the Lux sleeves, everyone, their mom is going to use it. The Prodigal Vest, everyone and their mom's going to use this. The Neoterra Kiat cloak as well is going to be something their mom's going to be using. So as for the pieces, I'll have them right now. But essentially, I wanted to really lean, lean into that whole, this is a hunter look. And this is, this is a hunter. This is a generic hunter, which is why it makes me laugh. But don't think that it's only going to look good in these pieces there's a lot more pieces in the game that is just gonna look beautiful with it i'm thinking the chess piece from vanilla destiny 2 uh, from crucible that one will work well with it because it, they were made by in the same time the same thing for the trials of the nine chess piece considering it's literally the same chess piece it's gonna work well as well and if you don't have access to the crucible chess piece from vanilla destiny 2 then fortunately for you, you can get the Trials of the Nine chess piece from the Prophecy Dungeon. Uh, if you haven't seen the Prophecy Dungeon, I have made a video. It's one of my more popular videos. I'll have it in the description below, but that video will show you how everything looks. And I promise you that almost every piece from that set will look good with the Stompies. Um, I'm not gonna tell you more armor sets just because again, I'd rather you look at the, um, I'd rather you discover that yourself because there's a lot of pieces that will go well with this default look. So that's it for the Stompies. Again, one of my favorite looks uh, just because of how clean it looks. But once you start seeing the ornaments, specifically two of them, you start to notice that the, the, the limit is your own imagination. For the next ornament, we're going to be looking at the turbo kickers. This one is unfortunately not the best ornament. It's definitely the weakest one out of all of the all of the ornaments, but it is very much usable. It's it's going to be rough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am re-recording this because I made a new armor set, which we'll look at. Uh, I've also added shaders so that way you guys can see how it shaders and which 
parts are actually non-shaderable speaking of which the pieces for this is specifically the red uh plate on the ankles you can't shader that and the wiring so essentially the yellow wiring on the hips and the yellow wiring within the actual like uh shin uh you can't shader that as well other than that everything else is pretty much shaderable uh which is unfortunate because you're really stuck with red and yellow if you really get that bugged about it like i do as for the practice set, I ended up making this cool set. Actually, I think it's pretty cool. I did make one beforehand. Like I said, I re-recorded this, but that set looked completely awful. I hated it. Everything about it, I hated. Uh, the only thing that I'm reusing from that set is the arms. So as you guys can see, I'm really lean leaning into that like electrical look with the arms, but I'm also kind of making sure I have some yellow in there so that way the wires the wires don't look weird and the chest piece the yellow on that actually does look pretty good because it actually does look like wires and for the helmet it, I have yellow in there as well the really cool thing as well is the fact that the visor on the helmet and the visor on the on the arm look almost exactly alike from this angle from like the forward front angle uh once you actually turn it around you see that the color is a bit different but overall, I do really, really like this set. I think it came out really well. For this one, it's pretty rough because uh, originally I was thinking like maybe you want to do some industrial looking armor, uh, electrical for sure. You definitely want to do something with electrical wiring, stuff like that. Uh, but this one is also very simplistic, so you don't have to really overthink this one. You can do a casual hunter. You can do pretty much anything. This is this is a good example of a flex armor piece that basically you can do pretty much whatever you want. I I will say the wiring, industrial look, uh, electrical look is gonna look the best because obviously that's what this set looks like a lot. But if you just want to have a casual hunter with this ornament for whatever reason, then by all means, I just think the base uh, Stompies looks way better than this. The next ornament we're going to be talking about is the retreads. This one is probably one of my favorite ornaments aside from maybe the last one. I think the last one is my, my favorite. It's either or honestly, both of them are really good. Uh, for the retreads, there's a few things that unfortunately you have to actually see. The thing that sucks is the the plate on in the back of the knees don't change color. So that white on the knee does not change color and the connector on the side, the circle does not change color. The ankles, the, the circle on the ankles does not change color as well. And the circles on the hips and the thigh do not change color as well. There's a lot of white in this set, but if you lean into it, it's not that bad, but it does suck, unfortunately. Uh, as for the example armor set, I shouldn't even call it an example armor set. It's an armor set that I actually rock a lot. So this is one of my favorite looks. I've, or I think I've showcased this in the channel before. I have it on my Instagram as well. Again, my casual hunter, this one, I'm gonna have the armor pieces right now, but essentially you're gonna be looking at the streetwise grips and vest uh the refugee mask and the renegade hood one of my favorite sets the retreads in my opinion work really well with cloth armor the main reason is because of just how cloth friendly the whole set is because if you guys notice the folds on the bottom look really really good with folds that the chess piece has or the arms have so if you have like a chess piece that has like a plate armor but then it has cloth that has folds. It's going to look really good. Uh, clean cloth is not going to look as good in my opinion, just because it's going to be weird. Like why is there no folds on the chest piece, but there is folds on the, on the pants. So for me, I'm all about like matching a lot. So for some people, they might not like matching the, the folds on the bottom. They might actually want to do a smooth cloth on the chest piece and then folds at the pants. Makes complete sense. Uh, again, these tips are more just like my tips and tricks that I do, that I follow. But again, let me know what you guys do differently than I do. I would love to see that. But for me, cloth armor looks uh, pairs really well with the retreads. So if you have the retreads, try, try cloth armor. You might never know. You actually might be really, really surprised at some of the stuff that you make. Uh, not saying that full plate armor will look, will look bad. I just think cloth really helps 
like make this armor set look even better. And then last but not least, we have the Astro Sides. So this one's funny because the tips and tricks that I'm going to give you for this one, I completely did not follow, but I have a valid reason why. So the first, we're just going to get into the tips. I would pair this with electrical, uh, industrial, angular armor. So that way you can really match the angular armor that this has. It's not a lot of angular armor to be fair, but there is some in there. Um, the other thing that's unfortunate about this armor set is the fact that the yellow green neon color on the sides of the knees do not change color. Other than that, everything's fair game. Uh, the That's the only unfortunate part. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys, but again there's just so much to work with for this one so again angular industrial electrical anything like that is going to pair really well now the reason i didn't follow any of those things is because the chess piece was the first thing that kind of drew my eye uh the buckle is like literally one of my favorites from this game and i thought it was going to pair really well with the boots the arms funnily enough is from just the idea of it being the actual shirt of the whole set and the chest piece is just like a vest for the top for the hunter uh for the helmet and the and the cloak it i those just came like from randomly like i didn't really put too much thought into it aside from maybe the helmet the helmet for me i was like i want blue and i don't want to i don't want the the shader to be able to change the color of the of the the faceplate. Thankfully, this helmet the blue does not change color, so you're pretty much uh, safe. Actually, now that I say that, this piece has a lot of unshaderable pieces. The helmet, the the faceplate does not change color. The blue uh, and the white on top as well doesn't change color. For the chest piece, there's blue V's and an orange triangle that does not change color. The arms, the the shoulder armor, that blue tree does not change color. And then the Stompies has the, the, the yellow, green, neon color that doesn't change color. So it's pretty funny that I really, I think I managed to pull this off really well. But for the Astro side specifically, angular armor is gonna work really well. Uh, this is a perfect example of just like following what you think is cool because i think this looks amazing i think this is probably one of my better armor sets that i've made ever probably and it's just again it came from just a, a feeling of like what do i want to do that looks cool and i followed that so again these tips are just again what they are tips they're not like written rules that you should follow this is just like what i think would look really good with it but if you find something that looks really cool, let me know in the comments below. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is definitely a cool idea, I think. Hopefully I can help some people. I know my tips are not like the greatest, but if I can just spark someone's imagination, that's enough for me. Uh, next one is gonna be the Dune Marchers. Dune Marchers, I have a lot of things to say. Unfortunately, it only has two ornaments, so that video is gonna be pretty small. Um, Transversive steps, on the other hand, it's probably going to be as long as this one because it has the same amount as ornaments. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let's links are in the description below. Again, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the idea, if you guys think this is a great idea, let me know. And I will see you guys later.